Greetings! This is Darvan and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris! Ships upgraded. Okay. Okay, what planet we got? Come on then. Where's our planet? Assisting the research of our planet then. Come on then. Might as well do something. Okay, already performing that order, okay. In that case, go assist him with some research over there. Not that it matters, but construction complete. Just to give you something to do. See Pluv. Shipyard. Let's see. Ship size is four. Let's see. I will leave that as that. That's good enough for now. Going to send our fleet off to the mining core. Before we go base the mead bar hunting. Wow, okay. Research complete. That was impressive. Exploit resource. It's the one we want. Heritage sites. Okay, but we want Let's do you first. Research complete. <laughs> 
Impulse thrusters. Okay. Oh, we need those. That'd be good. With pre programmed nano circuits, many consumer products can be rapidly assembled in fabricators. Yes. Construction complete. I'm going to send you there. We want you to. Gonna upgrade it here, Fram. Because hopefully. By making that a star hold. Research complete. Let's see, exploit resource, yes, that's good. Now you really want us to do this sapient AI. Running sapient AIs through highly in high intensity comments to yield valuable insight into potential optimizations for risk evaluation techniques. I don't care how dangerous it is, I want it. Um, and you can have deep tissue implants are the latest innovation in the revolutionary overlapping of sensory engineering and entertainment experiences. Where we're going, we won't need skin to fill. which allows us to set the chemical bliss standard. Let's have a look at that then. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Research complete. What's this? Nano circuits. Oh, brilliant. Um, you know what? Looking at all of these, what do I want? I want Star Fortress. Yeah, I want the Star Fortress. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Oh, that's still doing that. Okay. Ships upgraded. Research complete. System survey complete. Backscattering spe back scattering spectrometry sensors indicate the presence of valuable substances beneath Glanfar C 3A's noxious clouds. Research. Mm 
Let you bring it. Ooh. We can have. Well, there's all that. Multiple administrative strata efficiently surface only the most vital information to the upper levels of government. Or we can go with gene seed. Nucleolide purific nucleotide purification techniques allow for the isolation and refinement of particularly desirable genetic traits. Yep, okay. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Which is good because now you need to grade the cruisers. Glanfar C3A is exceptionally rich in minerals. Minerals that are unfortunately of no use to us. However, science officer Kencher believes that many of the elements of the crust of Glanfar C can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through positron bibar bombardment. The US the UNS Poltemias requests that the Earth has requests that the United Nations of Earth set aside a hundred energy credits for the purpose of this project situation log updated Special project complete. The crew of the UNS project are pleased to report that the experiment was a success and a significant number of dense mineral veins on GM4 have been transmuted into usable resources. Excellent! Would you like to carry on exploring? Ships upgraded. Okay. Let's have a look at these cruisers. Nice. Lion. Okay. I didn't say that, did I? Put them back. Let's see, destroyers. Pick it. Swarm. Damn you, okay, fine, whatever. Star Fortress. Oh, hello. Okay, we have, and this is it, 
Synthetics. Highly advanced robots that are stronger, faster and more durable than the vast majority of organics. Without upgraded neuroprocessors, they will be capable of independent operations. Go get some. First fleet. Let's pop you there. We're sending you out in the field. I know it's a lot bigger than our blob. Despite recent skill improvements, much of the initiative resolve that once drove Admiral Adrian Pachenko forward seemed to have gradually evaporated. That's not good. What have you got? Oh. Okay, we have damage upgrade cost. Yeah, we'll go with you. Because we're going to increase you to star holds. We're not going to fold it. 800 we need. Brilliant. Okay, we can have focusing crystals for energy damage and crystalline sensors for increase our sensor range. Okay. Then we've got any Zro though, have we? It's a research station we need for you. Construction complete. Where are we going with you now? Well, Let's see. Well, that controls this little bit of cluster. But there are a few enemies in here. Rans there's the Ransomers base we didn't deal with. Some more ancient mining drones. Got another planet though. Still no more planets over here though. Hmm. We could go there and just get this bit. Research complete. Gene Warrior Army. Paradise Dome. With the latest advances in architecture, landscape and holographic technology, we shall build the homes of the future. No thank you. Let's have the collective self. Finding aspects of the self within the group is natural and inevitable. Eventually, those shared aspects must be valued higher than individual identities. So leaders, yeah, okay, we'll go with that one. That's pretty cool. Probably start dying soon.
Research complete. Okay, it seems Dibber Durban 5 is lacking in the hydrogen helium to be classified as a proper gas giant. It is in fact an ice giant. Let's research that then. Yeah, when you come back, we'll deal with you. Meanwhile, ooh, okay. Market analysis algorithms. Basic administrative IIs can be used to streamline supply and demand lines, reducing waste. Okay. means given how many we've got now we may be able to trade change some of our trade policies so I think we're going to go to a mixed policy and now uh, we're going to go with the marketplace of ideas again switch between those two artificial intelligence okay the prospect of self-aware artificial intelligence raises many philosophical and ethical questions where we must determine where we stand on the issue. Okay. Any self-aware machine that fulfills the criteria of possessing true artificial intelligence is to be regarded as an individual with all the rights and obligations that entails. So we're going to give them full citizen rights. So species, robots, set your rights, you're now full citizenship. You are now f allowed full military service, that means we can hire robots. You're allowed to colonize. But we're not giving you anything else okay I'm gonna delete that template we don't need you I'm gonna delete that template okay Yeah. Yep. Chemical bliss is right up here, and it's increases pop at forty, unless there is a consumer goods deficit. But all your jobs d dropped by sixty percent. So basically, it's like, oh yeah. Not really good, but... See, terraforming. Not good at Alpine, Arctic or Tundra worlds. Tropical oceans, of, but we can go to continental worlds. Do you want to make it an ideal place for humans? Do we? I don't think we will. We're not going to play with that. Construction complete.
Construction complete. What's expired? Our campaigns, okay. Well, we can, they can go back. And you... And build that star base there. Okay, Durban 5 is not only an ice giant, but an ice giant made up of very unusual ices. There are pockets of Zvo trapped in the, within reach of the upper levels of the planet's atmosphere. Zvo ice. Cool. Have a look at what that does now. Research complete. So one, that's the one. Don't have climate restoration yet, okay. Let's have a look what we got here. Energy Nexus. Go with you. Meanwhile you. Ooh, that's quite. We have what is it? Global production strategy. Planets are big, and production sites are often separated by vast distances. A coherent strategy for making certain that everyone is pulling in the same direction is often needed. Sounds good to me. Anomaly found. Yep. That's another terraforming candidate. Several Xeno anthropologists from Earth have returned to the surface of Travel Prime after spending a great deal of time living among the subterranean aliens native to that world. They have learned much about their ancient ways and customs, which will no doubt benefit our society research. Yay! Research complete. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cross-model standardization. 
improved production practices allow for greater alterations to synthetic workers without compromising core functionality. Sure. Search complete. Okay. Ooh, applied superconductivity. Mine improvements to transmission efficiency adds up to a sizable reduction in overall energy lost. Okay. We can go with the antimatter re reactor. By harnessing the energy produced by matter antimatter annihilations, our efficiency at generating ship power will be orders of magnitude better than fusion. Okay, or quantum superposition of energy cells simultaneously drained and charged. Well, we need more energy credits. From where are we getting our energy? Following the recent advances in the field of robotics, the scientific community on Earth is confident that we can produce synthetic bodies sophisticated enough to support a higher neurological consciousness. We could upload the neuro patterns that were recovered from the alien vault discovered some time ago into robots and bring the aliens back to Earth. Okay. It's worth a try. Situation log updated. Limbo, a second chance. Research complete. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got? Um, not really sure. Housing and amenities. Available envoys, diplomatic rights. Our fleet commands a bit pretty close, isn't it? No, not fleet, naval capacity. Might need to do something about that. Interstellar fleet traditions. Construction complete. That's not what I want. It's Hifram. We want to give you another trade module and a missile battery. And a hydroponics bay. Exotic gases as fuel. Okay, well, we want to redo that. Sublight speed. Thank you. Special project complete. After many trials, the engineering department has finally managed to transfer the extinct alien neuroscans to the robotic bodies, and the results are exhilarating. The ancient aliens have fully regained consciousness, have expressed a desire to strike out on their own and rebuild their empire. 
We won't stand in their way. Construction complete. Reports are coming in that the aliens, whose minds we uploaded to the uh, to a robotic bodies have colonized the planet and now style themselves the Awoken. So they're over there. Do we have contact with the Awoken? Let's communicate with the Awoken. Okay. Let's have a look, what have we got here? They're xenophiles, they're fanatic materialists, they're erudite explorers. Fertility, warlike, synthetic. Mining guilds and the free haven. Okay. belligerent pathetic equivalent pathetic so in terms of trade whatever prosperous unification yep yeah. we literally created an empire okay form a research agreement agreement with this empire this will give both empires a bonus to the research speed of all other empires discover technologies of all the other empires discover technologies Okay. I can't do that yet. Let's see what we got. Prove relations, form a non aggression pact. Okay, we want two. Form a non aggression pact. The galaxy presents enough threats without having to worry about a war between the Awoken and the United Nations of Earth. We suggest entering on into a non-aggression pact to mutually secure peace. Be unable to attack each other in effect, their trust will go up, but it will cost us twenty four okay, yeah we'll have that. Let's see, let's offer trade. I don't know what we've got. What have they got that they can give us? We can give them or we can give them resources. Okay. And what we're going to do, we want to improve relations. Send an envoy to actively improve relations to increase the opinion of their empire on a monthly basis. Okay. Except you. Don't know if we've got any claims. We've got no claims on their stuff. See if they decide they want to do it. Okay, form a research agreement. Okay, form a research agreement with this empire. This will give both empires a bonus to research speed of all the other empires discovered technologies. This will increase their trust of us by 10 up to a maximum of 50. Let's have that one. Okay. We're probably going to look to see if we can form a federacy soon then. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. Basically, they agreed. This is our fleet against research complete. K. 
Okay, we need... Uh -huh. Cyto revitalization centers. Sure. Oh, there's the ancient minding drones. Research complete. Okay, let's have. Well, let's go up to. Uh, plasma throwers. Let's have some plasma throwers. Good through per minute for curation. Old Oak Farm Monument. You. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn. Ministry of Production. Let's give you a ministry. In fact, I think I'm going to replace you with a Ministry of Production. What do I need for... They left. Where's my fleet? They're over here. Whoa. This is the one I want. Destroy them. System survey complete. Construction complete. Research complete. Okay. Send the fleet over here. Shardlings. Wow, okay, that's really it's a lot. Saito revitalization chambers. That one again. Refit standards. Standardizing workflows for upgrading and retrofitting ship components can lead to massive efficiency gains. Okay, and we've got all of those, but we've got what? Simply synthetic personality matrix. Equipped with a personality, synthetics will finally be able to interact with society on equal terms with the rest of our citizens. Some units may even assume leadership roles. Yes.
Okay. Propaganda machine. Yeah. To all our robots. Situation log updated. Okay, let's see where we're going to go with you. Well, if we go around that way, and um, we can pick up this arm, we get that planet earlier, and then we can clear out these. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think we'll do it that way. As a gift to celebrate the friendship between our two civilizations, a caravan from the subterranean aliens of Trevor Prime have brought a large quantity of gemstones to the surface. Stones such as these are apparently mined by the Empire deep underground, as close to the planet's core as they dare to venture. Cool. Research complete. Okay. Plasma accelerators. These new accelerators launch projectiles of high energy plasma with improved containment fields that result in less energy leakage as the projectile travels in space towards its target. Uh, okay. These new shields represent the next generation of energy screen. No. Let's get our antimatter rea anti reactor. I mean, we've got five. Are there more than five? There's lots there. Three, five. Let's see. Wow, that is a lot. I can't even add that up in my head. <laughs> Just looking at it. I can't even, no, thank you, no. Industrial subsidies and forge subsidies. Before we have those, I want Policies, diplomatic stance. Research complete. Okay, I'm going to switch from expansionist to cooperative. Ooh. Command matrix. Structuring a chain of command and deciding what independencies are set between officers make fleets more responsive and effective. But I think we need to. Uh... Now we go over that one. That one looks good. Okay, where are we going with you? We want. Ancient mining drones, the ransom ears. Okay, let's go down here then. Which 
means before we do that, we will send you back to construction complete. Special project complete. New reactors, what have we got? Flash coolant. New development technologies. New developments in tech cooling regularly surface. Improving the stability, efficiency of our weapon systems, keeping them from blowing up the ships upon which they are mounted. A zero point of reactor. These generators extract vacuum energy, providing an almost limited supply of ship power. There is no more efficient way to generate efficiency. Let's go with some flash coolant, I think. I'll upgrade our laser weapons. Construction complete. But you know what? We're going to go there now and then I will colonize it. And colonize it straight away then. Construction complete. Research complete. Okay. Climate restoration. That'd be cool. Get some more colonies going. Yep. Climate restoration, I think it's going to be. By advancing our understanding of atmospheric transformation, we'll be able to transform even the most ecologically devastated worlds. Additional study into different planetary climates will allow us to settle our population of worlds previously thought too hostile to support them. There's no such thing as too hostile, I'll just make them suffer. Let's just... Let's upgrade our Star Fortress. See what have you got? Ship right, ship build cost, ship build speed. Or we can go with diplomacy and get the edict and influence cost reduced by fifth by 50%. Well, let's go by 50%. I want to get that one.
Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, Ferragon. Mining stations, and we are going to colonize you. Let's see, um, sure, we're going to send an as as Tani to Ferragon Prime. Or we can send robots. Send our robots. How are you getting on? Cordial. We can. Let's have a look, see what else we can do. Form commercial pact. Both empires trade networks. Form a commercial pact with this empire to so increase the value of both empires' trade networks. Will increase their trust by the maximum that cost us that much. We will get. T yeah. Okay. Cool. Construction complete. System survey complete. Research complete. Climate restoration. Yeah. Go with physical reminders of how far we have come, both instill a reverence for the past achievements and bolster ambitions for the future. Sure. We'll have you. Cause now we can have some fun. Bench and planner. Uh, well, we got Mars.
which we can now terraform into a planet and look at these what do we want do we want to turn it into any of these well we turn it into any of these a barren world into anything we want but we want that that's going to take some time but we have something to help with that terraforming gases bush Okay. Put the sensors on as well. I got to remember where the other terraforming candidates were. That's where this comes in. Uh Hifram. Ten thousand. Oh, I can put it into a barren world. The cheapest one is to turn it into a savanna world. It's nice and quick to turn it into an arid or savanna world. No, I will do it for humans. I've got the money. Half the fun of having the money is doing this, you know. No, not you. Okay. Got to put this a pirate haven. Rompston five. Research complete. Synth leaders. Okay. Proof cruiser holes. Yes, we'll go with you. System survey complete. Mm -hmm. 
Research complete. World Trading Company, yeah. Okay, Zeno Diplomacy. We'll go with Zeno Diplomacy. Busy complex, diplomatic weight. Do you know what? We're going to go with fleet support for some extra fleet capacity. Because... You're being upgraded to a star fortress. You're being upgraded to a star fortress. And you're being upgraded to a star fortress. I'm defending my planets. Because there's so few of them. Because there's so few planets, I'm defending them. But what we want to do... We've got all of these, but what we want to do... Is that unity? Produces unity. But requires an old pl own planet in the system. Okay. But this is what I want. Two trade value for each trade hub. Boom. Um, Tybor Yeah, you don't have any trade up, so I don't need you. You have a trade up, so off you have fun. You have a trade up, so have fun. Construction complete. Construction complete. Let's see, where are you? You over here. Need mining stations. Okay. Okay, so this has been Darvain doing Let's Play Stellaris. If you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. And until the next time, goodbye.